Welcome back. Today we've got a brand new 110 scale truck. And this is a hard body vehicle from RC Four Wheel Drive. The first hard body vehicle for me. This is their C2X competition truck with the Mojave 2 four door body on it, or at least the front cab portion. Uh, so this in real life is the Toyota Hilux. And you can see for this model with the 1.9 rims and large tires, it comes factory cut uh, at the fenders and everything is cut off below the grill to give you that extra clearance. And then of course, there is no rear end. So you get this cool little truggy style look. So obviously the look of this thing is killer. That's one reason that kind of drew me towards it. And uh, the other is just the fact that it's kind of a unique hybrid for RC four wheel drive. The fact that it's all coil, four link rear, three link pan hard front, and uh, kind of its own little chassis. It's not the Trailfinder 2, it's not the Galande 2. Um, it's just kind of RC four wheel drive's own little kit bash. So hopefully this thing will uh, perform pretty well and I've already got some ways to enhance the performance a little but uh, that's one thing I want to get to. This is uh, an old model. I want to say this is a... So obviously I did a lot of research on this and everything was fairly old that I was referencing. So when I received this, apparently this is an updated version. So there were some nice surprises I found and I'll take you through some of those uh, as well as some uh, shots from the uh, box cover. All right, here we are with the top off. Give you a little bit better view of this chassis. Pretty uh, open layout, pretty clean. Um, you can see glaringly here the first update or modernization is they ditched the Tamiya connectors and they've gone to XD60s finally, which is great. Um, you still don't get a lipo, but you get a pretty hefty num. But that's great because I actually have lipos that are basically exactly the size that 3300 is exactly. This other one's a little thicker, but I think both of those will fit. So the CSC, you just flip a jumper and you can run it uh, with lipos. So that's the first little update. Um, secondly, a nice surprise is, I don't know if you can see there, there's a billet aluminum pan hard and upper link mount that basically a bracket that rides over the top of the axle. So prior releases or early first releases, that pan hard mount just stuck up and it was a weak point. And so later on they came out with this upgrade part. So it's actually something I ordered when I ordered the truck. And uh, this was a nice surprise, of course, once I received it. So I've since returned that piece. But uh, that's something to know. It's really nice that they're actually updating a vehicle that's been out for a while uh, when they find weak spots. Um, so that was listed on the box as number 16. And then number 17 was the Punisher Shaft V2. So I'm assuming that is also an update since it's listed after the uh, Panhard brace on the box. So I'll put a shot up of that as well so you can take a look at the features. But uh, nice surprises there. And of course, it does come with a few little uh, add-ons here. You've got four mirror de decals to add, and you've got, I guess, a little jumper here. And then these little strips I had to ask about, these are actually little detailed metal pieces for the interior door panels, I believe. Um, and then just a charger with international adapters. So. That's kind of a quick look at this. So I think I'm going to put the stock battery in, get it on the four corner scales just to see uh, the ratios starting out. And then I'll give you a look at the few mods that I picked up to start this guy out. All right. Ready for the stock weigh in with the battery. Got this guy zeroed out. So I've not done anything to this truck except add some shock oil, some 30 weight 
shock oil since it still doesn't come with any. So let's let this settle down. So we're looking at grams here. So it looks like 3,173 grams with the 55.45. Let's flip that over to ounces. 111.9 ounces, so that is right at seven pounds. So that's that's the starting reference there. Um, so good to know, it's not a bad ratio. It's already leaning to the front. Obviously there's not much on the rear. So, all right, let's uh, take a look at some of these modifications that I've got to install. All right, just a quick overview here of what I'm gonna be installing. It's not a ton. A um, few little items here from IERC. So I've got some nice little uh, basically floor pan sliders that go along the side and uh, they're pretty flat and they just tuck up right to the body panel and also from IERC some front and rear shock mounts so these will allow me to lean and uh, lower the stance of the truck a little bit to lower the CG and then from RC four wheel drive I went ahead and picked up the light kit for this model I picked up the overdrive that they offer the 36T, 14T overdrive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the front. And then uh, to replace the screws, the four screws that mount the body, these are just M3 by 10 millimeter uh, set screws. So I should be able to just friction fit uh, without having to take a screw on and off. And then of course, had to pick up the metal emblems uh, from CC Hand. And then the last item from RC four wheel drive would be the aluminum knuckles. This kind of uh, orangey copper color. So that will add a little bit of uh, strength, hopefully, to the knuckles. And uh, that's really it um, besides this shining beauty right here. So this is from Scalar Fab. And this is going to tuck the bumper right up to the grill. So I got this one uh, with shackle tabs and uh, I need to pick up a aluminum fair lead there. But I do have some shackles I'll dig out to mount on this. But uh, that's going to replace the big honking low hanging front stinger bumper that it comes with. And of course this is metal instead of plastic. Um, so that should be a great first start. Oh, I almost forgot some of the uh, most fun little pieces here. Let me go grab those. All right, couldn't forget these. So here is the stock decal graphics sheet that it comes with. So you get a lot of cool little scale stickers, some RC four wheel drive plates, some C2X, and you get some cool uh, striping, some different options here. This one's actually kind of a navy, uh, that C2X striped. So that's pretty cool, but the real gem is what I picked up as well. So these are the clean stripe black vinyl for the four door body. So I don't know if I'm using all of these. Obviously I can't use all, I don't have the rear bed, but I think I'm gonna use for sure the hood um, and then see if I can find maybe a home for the Toyota on the back of the cab. But. Uh, Anyways, it's nice to have some graphic options, so there's going to be a little dressing up to the body for sure. Well, I think that's going to do it for this kind of quick overview out of boxing and first look at mods. And uh, I plan on following this up with a stage one and kind of go through some of those mods and see if there's any unexpected challenges or uh, whatnot. But, uh, we're definitely going to get this guy sitting quite a bit lower, I believe, with those IERC shock mods. Um, and I can't wait to get a little bit of graphics on there and just kind of make this thing a little bit more unique. And of course, getting rid of this honking front bumper. That thing is just not right at all. So getting that metal bumper on there is going to be a huge improvement. So. 
Anyway, stay tuned for some updates on this in the near future, and I'm going to dig into it right now. Thanks for watching.